my name is James D. Taylor, Jr. I am a well-published biographical author and an independent research scholar with a major New York publisher. I'm here today to discuss one of my numerous publications, The Shadow of the White Rose, Edward Courtenay, the 12th Earl of Devonshire, 1526-1556. Courtenay walked a fine line that separated treason and loyalty to the crown several times. It became clear during this five-year project while reviewing the surviving correspondence to and from Courtenay and other documentation from the period that what survives for the most part was allowed to survive. I will cover the intriguing missing correspondence in the book in further detail and of the possible influence the French had over the missing correspondence. He is often omitted from Tudor era biographies. When he is mentioned, he is called a bumbling buffoon, ignorant, dull-witted, and rash. Had any of these writers researched him, they would have found just the opposite. Sometimes referred to as the White Rose, because he was the last descendant of the Plantagenets through his grandmother Catherine, daughter of King Edward IV. He spent over half his life imprisoned in the Tower of London for crimes that his father committed during the reign of King Henry VIII. He was released when Mary took the throne from Jane Grey and soon considered a worthy suitor for Mary, but he rejected the thought and was considered to marry Elizabeth, but rejected that idea also. Mary then announced her choice for a husband was Prince Philip of Spain. This was not a popular choice in the realm for many reasons and led to the Wyatt Rebellion in which Mary was almost removed from the throne by force. Courtney and Elizabeth were to reign in her place. Courtney's involvement in the rebellion will never be completely known. Again, too many missing documents, and unless some unobscure, unknown document should surface, will remain that way. It is very safe to speculate that Courtney survived because certain pieces of correspondence disappeared. Nevertheless, Courtney was again imprisoned in the Tower of London but based only on suspicion. This is where some of the missing correspondent comes in as any evidence that could be used against him was either altered or destroyed. Released about a year later, he was sent out of England as an ambassador where he traveled through France, Belgium, and Germany and finally arrived in Italy where his activities were most likely to remain enshrouded in the shadow of the White Rose. I have pieced together the story of this enigmatic, dramatic, and rather clandestine life through remnants of correspondence and documents from the era. This volume was prepared in consultation with the current Earl of Devon. Anyone interested in English Tudor history should review the information I present. It will add valuable insight into that era of English history. Thank you.